the all new air server for open RAIN and air acceleration. Hello everyone, welcome to Product Insight, I'm Mike. Behold the magnificent creation, the latest most innovative air server, the ECA5540. Picture this, a dynamic NIPS compliant network platform wrapped in a compact pain-free chassis beckoning with the front exercise and resilience against varying temperatures. This isn't just a device, it's a gateway to the future, an open RAN appliance for work constraining 5G RAN virtualization across the landscapes or an Edge AI Maestro, work constraining lightning fast data acceleration and analytical symphonies. Emerge into a world where power meets innovation. At its core, the ECA5540 boasts a mighty 4th generation Intel Xeon scalable processor named Sapphire Rapid E. Envision this, Intel's Vero and Boost are tapping into the powerness of AVX extensions and the ACC 1G accelerator, delivering a staggering 2 times performance per watt surge, with the added 20% flourish of power savings for RAM virtualization demands. The ECA5540 is more than a hardware with its DD5 memory, an OCP 3.0 NIC, and a fortress of TPM hardware security combined with a redundant design, giving telco operators with a room of software-defined virtualized network services. Here's more. Within its core lies the NVIDIA L4 Tensor Core GPU, which is a beacon of validation as an NVIDIA certified system for industrial edge applications. The ECA5540 accommodates a PCI slot within a full high full length PCI by 16 GPU card with the dual PCI slots, ready to embrace either two times the low profile GPU cards or single full high full length slot for PCI by 8 GPU cards. As for the storage expansions, we have the dual setup drive base on the front or we'll venture into the onboard dual M.2 slots for NVMe storage. On the poor side of the ECA5540 feature and redundant power, an OCP 3.0 NIC slots, two PCI expansions in the front and one within, two storage bays in the front or two NVMe as an option in the middle, mention port, two USB 3.0, and a VGA port. So thank you everyone for watching this episode of Product Insight. So if you have any more questions regarding latest S-Server lineups, please contact us and we'll get back to you. See you next time.